Hi there, welcome to the next video. And in, the, in this video, I will talk about the else part, the false part of a conditional statement. So if you have seen my previous video, I have talked about that uh, how you can write the if statement and print the condition when it is evaluated to true. So in case of class 9A and 9B of a school, we have seen the average attendance and then we evaluated whether the attendance is above average or below average, right? So what I want to do now is that I want to remove this for now and I will remove this also for now because it does not make sense over here. And what I'll do is I will extend this statement to take the false value as well. So right now what is happening that when the this statement is evaluated to true, it will be printed. And when it is false, it will go into the next section which is else. So let's see how we can write else. So I just entered and print the uh, pressed the backspace. So now I'm writing else. Else will take our false or the other part of the statement which is the attendance is below average now let's go ahead and execute this and if you'll see our true con condition is evaluated to true and that's why we are getting the first statement the attendance is above average now if i do a slight change i will just remove the equal to part to mention that print the attendance is above average only in that case when it is greater than 35. Now in this case class 9a since it is equal to 35 it the condition will become false and when the condition will become false it will come on the else part. All right so if I go and execute that you will see that now the statement is the attendance is below average. So that's the benefit you get that you are not looking just one part with the if statement but with the addition of else you are able to show to end user that what happens when the condition is evaluated to false so that's about how you can add the else statement and get the another picture uh, based on the uh, if the condition is not met and in the next video i will show you how you can further extend this statement to take multiple conditions.